when you are kind to someone in trouble you hope they'll remember and be kind to someone else and it'll become like a wildfire in the dark times if you have something to hold on to which is yourself you'll survive we're here for a reason i believe a bit of the reason is to throw little torches out to lead people through the dark you have to believe in yourself in spite of what other people believe that's the thing about mother nature she really doesn't care what economic bracket you're in i use my imagination to make the grass whatever color i wanted it to be you couldn't always trust the history books they told a diluted truth a truth by committee i grew up in a time when it would never have occurred to anyone to tell me there was anything i couldn't do when i forget how talented god is i look to the sea art and life are subjective not everybody's gonna dig what i dig but i reserve the right to dig it sometimes experience trump's assumption if you can handle the fact that people are going to be mad at you when you do what you think is right you'll be all right art is long life is short i have witnessed things the ancients would have called miracles but they are not miracles they are the products of someone's dream and they happen as the result of hard work thank you god because i am lucky also let's face it it turns out i'm black and i'm having a career quite different from lots of people so i feel doubly lucky no matter what you say to yourself you do want to win you try to look casual like you're not thinking oh please pick me taking action is hard but know what enduring a bad situation can be its own hell i can do anything i can be anything no one ever told me i couldn't no one ever expressed this idea that i was limited to any one thing and so i think in terms of what's possible not impossible i don't believe that there is any good career move or bad career move i believe there are only the things that make me happy we're born with success it is only others who point out our failures and what they attribute to us as failure if there wasn't something called acting they would probably hospitalize people like me if you get a little gassy you've got to let it go so people used to say to me you're like a whoopee cushion it bums me out tremendously what the church has become and if it's got me bummed imagine what jesus christ must be feeling things happen to you out of luck and if you get to stick around it's because you're talented people have the power we give them words have the power we give them we're dealing with old issues that aren't ours we carry them and we pass them on to those who come after us i am hoping to crack some of those i always wore sneakers when i wanted to it was always about being comfortable and being myself you don't want to think something might be racist but it might be because your gut is telling you it is who amongst us doesn't want to be a hero the most important thing is that you have to listen to your truths desires and wants and you have to believe you deserve all of it if you read to me i could tell you everything that was read they didn't know what it was they knew i wasn't lazy but what was it actors have no color that's the art form if i was doing a talk show i would do the kind of show that comes on just once a month with amazing guests you know be an actor because you love to act don't be an actor because you think you're going to get famous because that's luck karen elaine johnson born november 13 1955 in manhattan new york city the daughter of emma johnson harris 1931210 a nurse and teacher and robert james johnson jrb 1930 a baptist clergyman she was raised in a public housing project the chelsea elliot houses in new york city goldberg is an american actor comedian author and television personality a recipient of numerous accolades she is one of 18 entertainers to win the egot which includes an emmy award a grammy award an academy award and a tony award in 2001 she received the mark twain prize for american humor goldberg began her career on stage in 1983 with her one-woman show spook show which transferred to broadway under the title whoopi goldberg running from 1984 to 1985 she won a grammy award for best comedy album 
For the recording of the show, her film breakthrough came in 1985 with her role as Sally, a mistreated woman in the Deep South, in Steven Spielberg's period drama film The Color Purple, for which she won the Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Motion Picture Drama. For her role as an eccentric psychic in the romantic fantasy film Ghost 1990, she won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress and a second Golden Globe Award. She starred in the comedy Sister Act 1992 and its sequel Sister Act 2, back in The Habit 1993, becoming the highest paid actress at the time. She also starred in Jumpin' Jack Flash 1986, Clara's Heart 1988, Soap Dish 1991, Ghosts of Mississippi 1996, and Till 2022. She also is known for voicing roles in The Lion King 1994 and Toy Story 3 2010. On stage, Goldberg has starred in the Broadway revivals of Stephen Sondheim's musical A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum and August Wilson's play Ma, Rainey's Black Bottom. She won a Tony Award as a producer of the musical Thoroughly Modern Millie. In 2011 she received her third Tony Award, nomination for the stage adaptation of Sister Act 2011. On television, Goldberg portrayed Guinan in the science fiction series Star Trek, The Next Generation 1988-1993, and Star Trek. Picard 202. Since 2007, she has co-hosted and moderated the daytime talk show, The View, for which she won the Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Talk Show Host. She has hosted the Academy Awards Ceremony for Times, 